things that the things in, in my house that always get turned off are the Beatles and the Doors. The we're Beatles? Like, yeah, we're like no Beatles, no Doors, like kind of thing. What is wrong with you guys? So and your it's not son like, is gonna have a childhood without the Beatles, dude? That's not cool. No, I'm not banning the Beatles. It's you just, just turn like, it off if he plays it. No, but if he plays it, it's fine. But I mean, like when it comes on the radio, I'm like, no, no. And it's not that I hate the Beatles. It's just that I get it. I've heard it enough. Like he it's hasn't. like our parents' generation, the baby boomers, shoved it down our fucking throats I cannot for our stand. entire lives. I, I you know? hate this. Chat is all against the Beatles. I, I can't fucking take it. It's the most overrated baby boomer Ugh. bullshit. Ugh. Like, you know, it's, it's just it's so wrong. I can't. It's them refusing to let their childhood go and then forcing it on us. Like, this should be your childhood, too. And it's Ugh. like, you know. This is hurting my heart. <laughs> And it's not do, even what you're saying. It's what Chad is saying. That's just, it's just, it's just so depressing. Do a poll. No, I can tell what the, the, I don't need to. Everyone hates the Beatles. It's, it's ridiculous. You know what? We live in a society that's just fucking ruined. <laughs> just ruined. That's the, that, that's what the Joker says in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Like, yeah. Honor. That was so lame, dude. He was like, we live in a society where people don't like the Beatles. He goes, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> I, I will freaking beat you down. <laughs> I will freaking kill you. You're, I will freaking kick your butt. <laughs> now, I can listen to Rolling Stones all day. Any album, just drop the needle anywhere. I'm fine. Ugh. Like, I can listen to the Rolling Stones all the time. Someone says Pink Floyd. I love Pink Floyd. Not into the Beatles. I love, not more than the Rolling Stones, Definitely more than the Beatles. Uh, Kinks. Love the Kinks. Kinks. I love one the of Kinks. the. I think the Beatles are so incredibly overrated. You know, like, and, and you know, if you know, little little Peep commits uh, died. You know, mm-hmm. like he'll if, if he becomes like the person that this generation, the the kids right now, end up talking about in twenty years, people would be like, "Little Peep's overrated." Like, you know, all of these bands are overrated. The Beatles weren't even in the top five bands of their time period i don't think you know? uh, you're wrong but that's yeah okay you think there was yeah. a better band than the beatles in their absolutely. time period absolutely who name <laughs> i'm rolling so stones rolling stones uh-huh beach boys mm-hmm. kinks mm-hmm. um that's three right yeah and, and uh, all of those bands worshipped at the feet of the beatles and like took all their influence from the Beatles. Pet Sounds is a direct response to Sgt. Pepper's, but yeah, I mean, it's still their better bands. I think. No, they're not. My God, the Monkeys. Somebody says, "Get the fuck out of here." Um, you the like, Beatles you the broke Beatles- everything. They were the Rosetta Stone. It was like Elvis, and then the Beatles, and then an explosion. Even how Ozzy do we Osborne, know that? Who created heavy metal was like the. Do you know the Beatles created heavy metal with Helter Skelter? That yeah, one I song. know. I've, I mean, it's fucking I've amazing. I've heard that. You can't overstate their fucking influence. Someone says uh, Trevor's takes are ass tonight. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Well, here we go. Zach has the worst takes because he knows fuck all about anything of the things he says he's into. Oh my god! The, so says somebody called the second whitest kid. Can you me? like the Beatles fucking better break. than the Kinks? Look, I love the Kinks. The Kinks, I, 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 I love them. But the Beatles are, yeah, I do. Yeah, the Beatles are better. Ugh. Paul McCartney, dude. He's Mozart. He's a modern day Mozart. Simply <laughs> having Somebody says, this is, why, this is why he walks around with no friends. <laughs> Could you imagine me having this attitude, but about Jesus? No, he died for your sins. Oh, you fucking idiot. He fucking died for you. Yeah, it matters. Someone said Trevor lost his taste of music due to COVID. (laughs) I just know whenever a Beatles song comes on in the car, I'm like, ah, and I switch it because I, uh, okay, well, okay, okay, let's be fair. We have, there has never been a band that has been crammed down our throats more than the Beatles. You know, it is. You know, there's not a month that you can't go to the grocery store where there's like, here's a special Beatles magazine collector's bullshit thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like that. And like everything is all Beatles, all Beatles, all Beatles, all Beatles. And it's like, at a certain point, you're like, yeah, I mean, also production was hitting this technology was hitting this thing where you could do multiple track recordings. Like it could have been anyone right there. No, no. 
Oh my god. Pet Sounds came out a year before Sgt. Pepper's. Oh, I think of Smile. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You got to get out now. Like if matters. Ringo does it, if Ringo doesn't go before Paul McCartney, oh, like you know, Paul dies, everyone's gonna use up all their Beatles sadness. They're it's gonna be true. like, now all the Beatles are dead, and then Ringo will die a couple years later, and they'll be like, oh, weird. Like you know, <laughs> but if Ringo dies now, they're like, another Beatle died. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. P.S. Last time I saw Sam's glasses, they were shooting John Lennon. <laughs> that's funny. Cool. No, they're Mark David Chapman uh, oh, glasses. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why this simps you know? Yeah. I have to struggle so hard for pop culture references or celebrity names, but anytime it's a someone who's shot somebody, I'm like, oh, it's Mark David Chapman. <laughs> right there. That's not disturbing. Uh, uh, I've told the story about me going to the 20th anniversary of John Lennon's uh, assassination thing, right? Oh, I was there with you. You were? Yeah. No, okay. I wasn't there. You and Sam went. I heard about it the next day. I think in my memory, I like put a- Yeah. Yeah. Tell uh, it, tell I, it. I'm gonna I, grab I, another spindrift. So I'm like 20 and and we're, we're, we just got to school and then it was like the 20th anniversary of John Lennon's like death or something like that. So they had a big thing out in Strawberry Fields and we're just idiots and we don't like, we're, we're, we're honestly, too sheltered at this point to even know that like things are in bad taste. So, <laughs> so there's a thing going on, uh, you know, it's like the media was making a big thing about it. Like, Oh, it's like 20 years since John Lennon died. And you know, we're, we're 20. So it's like, you know, uh, uh, um, and uh, so I dressed up like John Lennon and Sam and a bunch of people dragged my body around at the thing. Just to kind of, and then and you people had fake would get blood on your head, fake blood on my head, and everything. And so then people, and also there's no, there's no reason to do this. We're just like, uh, you know, idiots. And so then, Dad's old hat. Were, thanks for gifting. So then people are coming up, and and being like, that's really not cool. And we're like, it's against gun violence. We're truth.com because there was a thing called truth.com back in the day. <laughs> That was like anti-smoking, right? It was anti-smoking, but it was just super preachy, like kind of like, hey, kids, don't smoke. And so we were like, we're truth.com, and now we're tackling gun violence like that. And so then people would be like, all right, you know, like, because then they didn't know what they didn't know what to do. Well, OK. So, mm. <laughs> so they're That's dragging funny. me along. And there's all this news there. And like some news people are like, this is happening, like, you know, and kind yeah. of like. And so then they're dragging me. Uh, and then at one point, I got up and I go, I'm zombie John Lennon and I'm back from the dead and I'm thirsty for brains. <laughs> and I started chasing Sam around like the thing and like all these these other friends of mine like that. And then everybody was like, oh, fuck these kids. They, they're just like, you know. <laughs> I think Brian Epstein was fine, wasn't he? Yeah, but don't the Beatles suck? It depends. No. Oh. Do you remember, you guys, I, when I moved to New York, I'd said that I didn't like the Beatles. And then, like, that was just, like, a thing I did for a year. And then I'm, like, listen to them again. I'm, like, nah. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> no, you had to, you apologized to all of us. You're, like, I'm, I'm sorry that I said I've that. I've apologized to you guys for several things. I apologized about that. <laughs> yeah. Did. I just remember when I, when I first you said You didn't that, have to apologize know. to me. I'll tell you that. I well, probably high-fived you. I power high-fived you. I'm, like, hell yeah. You've always said that you think the Stones are more fun than the Beatles. The Stones are better in every regard. I mean, I think you not could like true. them both and just like not have to be contentious about it. No, Content <laughs> you have to be contentious. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is it? But that's true. Just look at, if you right. look at the music video for um, Angie, it's just Mick sitting on a car, staring yeah. into the lens. Yeah. And that's all it is. He's not doing any of this fancy. He didn't have to do an animation like uh, like Under the Sea or whatever the fuck the Beatles made, like, you know, right. that movie. Uh, <laughs> he's, just, he's just sitting on a car staring in the lens, and you're like, this dude will fuck your daughter. That's, that's exactly what it yeah. That's their whole thing. I mean, but they're music. Yeah. And he might fuck you. That's the yeah. thing. He's yeah. wild card. Like, dude, he, you know. he's just going to, like, if, he, if you're around, you're going to fuck Mick Jagger. Like, that's how yeah. it works. And, uh, but, I mean. It was like Beatles with an A. And then, at what age were you when you realized it's a fucking pun? 
<laughs> I was young because they made a joke about it on you can't do that on television and that's when I first figured it out I think I was it was the moment I stopped liking them because I think I was in that high school thing and then when I realized I was like oh like beat fuck this group <laughs> <laughs> well and then we find out why John Lennon went with it so yeah Ooh. oops burn well what happened yeah John Lennon like beat on women so, yeah. you know, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Who'd he beat on? And, and you know, that's not like it was random women. It was his wife. What is that video? <laughs> it was it a Bill different Burr? time. Have you watched that video of different... Bill Burr talking about Yoko Ono? Uh-uh. And then we got uh, super drunk. And then I fell into someone had made an art uh, piece that was all straws that had been glued together and it made this like really beautiful like spiraling it was it was huge and it was like it took a lot of time and i got drunk and i fell into it and the whole thing broke and fell apart everywhere and uh sean lennon was there and he was upset at me wait that's the end of that story what one of john lennon's kids yeah john john and yoko's kid was there jesus Someone said, did you pay for it? I'm like, no, have you listened to anything I've been saying? Dude, dude we've been, I'm collecting the last minutes, we've been talking about p- not paying for things. I quit. A, I got fired from a job so I could not pay for things. Yeah, I, I think I literally ran out of the out of the thing. Like I f- Fred Flintstone did. Like I jumped in the air, my feet went, and then I just like took off. <laughs> the circle. Of the- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blue sky, if anyone knows that. And he says, I'm best friends with Jeff Lynn. I go, oh, my God. Well, it's so great. We're eating. I'm eating with Eric Idle. It's insane. A member of Monty Python. Anyway, so uh, he says, we have uh, had an amazing story. Uh, we went to a party uh, at the Four Seasons in Hollywood uh, of Paul McCartney. Wow, that's great. And he goes, so Jeff and I. Eric Idle is telling me a story of him and Jeff, like I'm a pal. He goes, Jeff and I go to the Four Seasons. We go up the elevator, go into the suite, and boom, we walk into the door. And immediately the music playing is Eleanor Rigby (laughs) from the Beatles. This is like 40, 40, 50 years after? Yeah. Yeah. This is Paul McCartney's suite. Just still listening to it. And they walk down a hallway and they turn and there's the living room suite and there's Paul McCartney. And he's sitting at the coffee table like this. And Eric Idle and Jeff wave, hey Paul. And Paul turns and goes, all the lonely people, where do they all come from? Where do they come from? And he's just quoting his lyrics. He's just quoting his lyrics. <laughs> I've had you tell that story to me so many times, and it never ceases to blow my mind. Like, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> I mean, he's got. He's one of the greatest. He's up there with Shakespeare. You're just listening to your there. own. And, but I guess the ego, what can you, what can you say? I, yeah. Dave Rosetsky, man, what a what a yep. stellar supporting role, you know? Yeah, the we, mugger in that is a comedian named Dave Rosinski. Uh, yeah, so basic, basically, like, uh, the story that Greg Johnson tells is that Dave Rosinski is, like, a huge... He's a huge Beatles fan and a huge Paul McCartney fan. And, um, and so Paul McCartney did a show in Times Square. Like it was, a, they announced it two hours before and he just basically was on a roof and he just played like some hits and Times Square was packed. Everyone went, Dave Rzinski ran down there, went to see it. And then when he came back, Greg was asking him, he was like, so how was the, uh, how was, uh, the Paul McCartney concert? And he goes, dude, he fucking bombed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Greg's like, what? And he's like, he fucking bombed, bro. And he was like, no, Paul McCartney didn't bomb in Times Square. He's like, dude, it was whack. Like, 
Dude, there's playing, another hey, Jude and Dave Rosinski's just like, nah, <laughs> like, not feeling it. Bobbing it. Oh. Bobbing. He bombed, bro. There's another no one's time. into this. Helta Skelta. <laughs> like, it's not even that he played bad, he sounded bad. It's that he bombed. Like, yeah, like, it's like he didn't connect the audience. Into it. Yeah. <laughs>